Thanks for the time, Coach. How excited are you to get back onto the court and just the uh, matchup too? Yeah, no, really excited to get back out there and, you know, just nice to have an opponent uh, because it's you know, been a long time. We, we lost on day one, obviously, in the Big Ten tournament, so it's, it just feels like it's been forever since we played a game. And, you know, now we have an opponent in Maine, and um, I don't know a ton about them, but I know they're a program that's used to winning. Um, they've had a great season. Look at their record. And, um, you know, this time of year, though, you got to play somebody good. And then also looking at the last week, how has the team kind of responded in practice since the uh, tournament? Yeah, we've been good. We watched the film. We, you know, I wanted to show them film and just so, so they could process you know, the fact that we didn't play very well. And, and we watched that and then got out of the court and practice. And um, so I think we, we learned from um, that tough loss and then also kind of moved past it and, and started focusing just on ourselves and getting better. It looks like your team is kind of hoping for all of you to draw. Well, I mean, I don't really get too much into that. I really, our, our focus all week will be Maine, and, you know, we'll start with that and, and put everything we got into that game, and, and then, you know, if we're fortunate enough to move on, then see who we play next and keep it really simple and one day at a time this week and just stay focused on that. What's it like earning full court advantage for the first two rounds? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really happy to be at playing at home. I mean, that would always be the case, especially this year where we've drawn so well. And so hopefully our fans will come out and support that first game like they have all season. I think that could be really important for us. And I see Ebony's here today, so just do you have an update on her status? Yeah, she's back with the team. and um, Yes. You had talked before the Big Ten tournament about responding to a loss. Obviously, didn't get the response you were looking for. Have you seen what you need to see in practice over the past week? The team has responded right at this time. Yeah, I think so. Our, our energy, effort, uh, concentration, focus has all been really good. And so I, I think we're in a good place mentally and physically. And so um, yeah, hopefully we now have a great week of preparation before we play Maine. Do you think there was maybe a need for a wake-up call like that for the team? Um, I don't know. Um, you know, we had played really. We had been playing really well, and I, even in that loss at Iowa, I didn't think we played that bad. We just didn't play quite good enough, um, but then played really bad against Maryland. So hopefully, we flush that out of our system, and we're ready to move on and be at our best again. And how well do you know Jake Deeper, and just what are your thoughts on him getting a men's head coaching job? I know Jake really well. I'm extremely excited and happy for him. I think it was a great decision. I think he's going to do exceptionally, uh, exceptionally well here, um, and so I'm excited. Kevin, I know you've been really consistent all year. We've just been one game at a time. But the second game popped up there, everybody turned to the last. How do you just how do you talk to them about staying focused on game despite like that being such an exciting game for the first time? Yeah, no, I mean we'll we'll talk about it and like like we always do and just emphasizing that you know, we, we play a team that won their conference and is used to winning and um, if we don't show up and, and have the right focus and energy, we can get beat by anybody, and especially a good team like Maine. And so we'll we'll, we'll have their attention and, and make sure they're focused on the right team. And I, I know it's hard to look at uh, the big picture when you're in the midst of both of the season, but there's a lot of programs who try to find sustained success. Um, to be where you're at right now, be a two seed again, hosting again, what does that mean for you and this, and this program? Yeah, no, it's just we've been really fortunate. I think that we've done a, a great job identifying um, really great kids to, to bring into the program, and I think that's been kind of the, the key to our success and the, the key to our consistency is we've got high-character kids who consistently show up at work, and then the results kind of reflect that on the court. Kevin, I know you're purely focused on me, but as you're watching the selection show, and just a, as a fan at least, just what are your thoughts as the bracket has kind of come together on how – Tough, interesting. This tournament's going to be. Yeah, no, I, I I was actually thinking about this. I was watching. It's like there's a lot of really good teams and a lot of potential intriguing matchups as you kind of go through the tournament. And um, it, it'll be, uh, I think, a fascinating tournament because you know there's more parity than than we've ever had, and so I think it could be a really exciting uh, tournament this year. On jumping on that, just again, big picture. What are your thoughts as to where we are in terms of? The sport, women's college basketball, I mean, obviously last year was such a breakout moment. How do you feel like the tournament can feed off of that this year? Yeah, no, I think we're in a great place. Uh, this is a really exciting time to be in this sport. And, you know, as a coach, I feel fortunate to be, you know, a part of it right now. And and I think it's going to only continue to get better. Um, we have just really incredible players out there. And, 
you know, a lot of people talk about Clark, who's going to move on after this year, but we've got also some, some great young players across the country that I think are going to continue to fuel the popularity of the sport. Kevin, you had a little bit of a chance to pass your I guess with a second look at that, what did you kind of take away from that game in terms of where you guys needed to get better? Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, like I was like I didn't think we played that poorly. Um, I, I really uh, we played hard, we competed, we just didn't play quite well enough in a couple areas. Um, and in Maryland, we just played bad, and so uh, our our focus and energy wasn't good. And that's the first time I can I, even in the early the games we lost earlier in the year, we always really played hard and competed. We just didn't play well enough, but. We were just off that day, and so I haven't seen that in practice, and so I think we've kind of learned from that and flushed it and moved on. And as you get the chance now to host games again, you have the senior class with players like J.C. that have given so much of the What does it mean that they're going to have a little chance to go? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, they, like you said, they've been so instrumental in the success of our program, and so I think for their friends and family in this community to, to be able to come out and watch them again is going to be really special. Last season, you were able to draw. I know you didn't win the Big Ten tournament, but you had success in the Big Ten tournament. What do you guys look to draw on now that you that trip got cut short this year? Yeah, no, I just think like just the way we've played here, like post Christmas. I think our, our players have a lot of confidence um, that we can be one of the best teams in the country. So I think we've played at a high enough level that we can draw on that those experiences to to really kind of make sure our confidence is where it needs to be. And can you talk about the experience of this team? You're cool. Starting lineup has all been to the lead eight. Yeah. Most of your bench has too. How important is that for going to Yeah, I think it's important because you know they've they've played in big games and they have that experience. And so I think you know the, starting with Maine, I don't think it'll be a case of the jitters because we've been there before. Uh, Coach, not that people doubted you last year, but you guys were kind of under the radar winning the tournament this year. Now you look at. You know, Possible rematch with UConn, USC. There are a lot of people circling Ohio State. How much different is that going into the tournament? Yeah, I, I think obviously we've you know, got a little bit of a target on our back, and so we made a run last year. We've had a fairly successful season so far, so we're not going to sneak up on anybody. And I also think you know, like our press was really effective last year, and I think people will um, probably put a little more time into preparing for that than maybe uh, they otherwise would have. And what does this week look like for you guys? I know you don't yet which day you'll play, but what's, what's kind of Yeah, we'll, we'll start practice tomorrow and start preparing for Maine. Um, and just depending on when we play, we'll probably take a day off at some point, and, that, and we'll base that on um, what day we play. Coach, what are the benefits and what are the challenges of having an entire week to practice, not necessarily knowing who you're going to play at this point of the year? Yeah, well, the, the, the benefits are you can solely focus on yourself and just say, hey, we just need to get better at the team, sharpen up the kind of what our identity is, make sure we're the best version of ourselves coming out of this week. Um, and then the challenges, though, are, are like you just you get in such a rhythm of – Practice a couple of days, play a game. Practice a couple of days, play a game, and now you got to go a full week of practice. And the kids just aren't used to that at this time of year. After the loss against Maryland, do you kind of find a, a week of practice like that refreshing at this time of the season? Yeah, I did. I I, I thought you know, having not played well, I was happy that we had a week where we could practice and just focus on ourselves. What do you think the turning point was in your opinion this season? You know, um, I I would tell you that. <clears throat> We kind of had a slow, gradual, just get better. Um, because if you look at where we were in November and December and where we were in January and February, we were significantly better. Just a kind of a gradual getting better. But I would say there's also two key things that happened. One, Cody came out of Christmas and she's played really terrific basketball post Christmas. She wasn't playing great in December. And then also Celeste, it's gotten better each week. And if you look at where she started the year and where she is now, she's really much more comfortable in our system, both ends of the floor. So team got better, and specifically those two players who are both excellent players, and we can't be the team we're capable of being without them being who they're capable of being. What's your thoughts about the team's reaction to the announcement today or the lack thereof? Yeah, I don't know. I <laughs> I long time ago I quit trying to figure that stuff out. <laughs> uh, is everyone in person? Okay. I'm hoping it's like, hey, we got a business like approach, so we're. <laughs>